Hola paisanos, just Lyle here, and I want to ask y'all, when will you be done with Tears of the Kingdom? What will leave you satisfied? What would you consider to be 100%? What is your goal for Tears of the Kingdom? Because I'm going to tell you right now, I have to set uh, goals and boundaries regarding this game, and at this very time, I do not have any. I keep exploring and I keep discovering new things and I'm watching new videos and I'm coming across new ideas and next thing you know it, I am going about it in a way where I have to abandon real life so I can play more Tears of the Kingdom, which I'm pretty sure all of you are doing too, but we gotta get back to our normal lives. So I gotta ask myself and you all, when is enough enough? When will you be done with Tears of the Kingdom? When will you finally accept that your Switch needs to be turned off? When do you accept that you have a huge life of backlog of games that need your attention? When do you accept that Tears of the Kingdom is never going to end because it's up to you to stop that cycle? So what would take you to be completely satisfied in putting down tears of the kingdom because for me i believe it will be doing the story uh getting all my amiibo gear at a hundred percent or you know uh, three what is it five stars uh, five star boost and um being able to um light up all of the deaths and uh Maybe getting all the medallions for the monsters and definitely doing all the side missions. Those are probably my five for sure that I need to do. But honestly, I don't think that will be enough. I, oh my god. So for Breath of the Wild, I I stopped at, I believe, the side missions. I, I am one of the unfortunate few that played Breath of the Wild on the Wii U. I know, I know, shame on me, boo, boo, boo. But I played Breath of the Wild because I bought the Wii U for Zelda U, and I said, I'm gonna pre-order it on the Wii U, and I do not have the money to spend on the new Nintendo Switch. Biggest regret of my life, because not only did I have to play the Wii U version, which was the far inferior version, and then replay it on the Switch and not have that same experience. But that taught me that, you know, even though I played the game and I knew exactly what I was doing, I kept coming across new things and I kept discovering new things and I just, my, my goals changed as I was playing. So what was initially going to be discover, um, beat the game again and discover places I haven't been, be been there before was you know doing missions that i not had accepted in the previous game in my previous playthrough on the wii u and doing them on the switch so with breath of the wild it was pretty clear cut it was like just doing everything i didn't do on the wii u which was already a lot and then you know on the switch i ended up playing a lot more than i expected because i ended up putting new barriers and goals that would allow me to stop playing and next thing you know it i was stuck uh making arbitrary goals that I knew I wouldn't be able to <clears throat> accomplish one of which was just playing the game without using the map which I don't know why I even did that but it was for my own self gratification and I enjoyed it but that meant I spent an additional 40 hours that I didn't need to because I put that goal of mine beat the game without using the map why why not and that was my dumb mistake. So for Tears of the Kingdom, I am putting myself with these five. Beating the story, getting my Amiibos uh, armor sets to their max, being able to do all the missions, being able to get all the uh, enemy, uh, the, the enemy uh, collectible medallions or whatever it is gonna be, because I haven't even reached that far. And um, unveiling all of the deaths. That's my five that I have right now. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna add more to these five, but these are my five as of right now that are guaranteed for me to stop playing. Now, am I anywhere near close to this? For the story, 
chances are um, not that close because I haven't even done the geoglyphs and I haven't even finished up one of the uh, the the, the, uh, the main quest missions, which probably it'll expand to more. Um, regarding the beasts, I haven't even talked to any. I, I think I talked to Keaton. Um, I have to double check, but I'm pretty sure I talked to Keaton and I've started that quest or whoever's in charge. I believe there's a guy at the lookout uh, in the. Um, Underneath the lookout, where he you talk about him, talk to him, and he has to you have to fight certain um, monsters like the Stalus and and the Hinox and I don't know if it was a line off, but I believe that started the side mission to that. So that's that, which in turn t turns into the missions because I believe Breath of the Wild had a, about a hundred missions, side missions, and about fifty shrines. So. Chances are there's probably going to be maybe double of that is what I'm expecting. And then we got the armor amiibo sets. Uh, I don't have all the amiibos, so that's already going to take me some time. And all the collectibles might take me more time, but I'm planning to use some of the duplication. I'll definitely cut that down, but I will definitely look forward to grinding certain items. Um, definitely not going to be gr a grinding for uh, star fragments. Forget that. I, I Those were the my least favorite things to grind. Uh, because I would honestly forget I'd be grinding. I'd be playing doing a normal routine and by the time I remembered that I was doing that I get sidetracked doing something else. So I'm just doing the duplication glitch. Call me a cheater. But listen, I'm trying to cut down time. I'm at like 50 hours in. I need to cut down on Tears of the Kingdom because I know I have to look I'm looking at my 100 hour mark. I'm not even gonna be done with any of these and um, Yeah, just checking out the depths because I'm scared. I'm I've honestly just spent all my time in the overworld. I, the, the way I see it is I spent 90% of my time in the overworld. Maybe, maybe 8% in the sky, uh, doing the sky islands, and you know 3% or less maybe in the depths because I'm scared of going back there but when I do go back down there I hear the horns it gets me excited and then I see pitch black darkness and I run away and it's it's fun because I know eventually I'm gonna conquer this with all the weapons I'll get later down the road but as of right now I'm not ready for it and I know that's gonna be an obstacle but when I do tackle that obstacle I will be ready for it not right now but slowly but surely, somewhere down the line, I will take it down. But those are my main five that I know I'm going to try to focus on as my main objectives to be completely satisfied with Tears of the Kingdom. Um, I would love to hear what you guys think. Um, what are some of the things and goals you plan on uh, completing in Tears of the Kingdom to finally be able to put this game down? Because this game is relentless. It does not care what you're doing in your world in your real world your own life doesn't care what health issues you have what goals you really are trying to achieve what the, uh, what school you're going to what career you're following what dreams and ambitions are they tears of the kingdom just came in and said i'm the captain now and you are going to accept that this is going to rule your life for however long you want and that's just a fact. And Tears of the Kingdom is making it impossibly hard to stop playing. So now I have to set boundaries and goals. And I said that these are my five. They will probably change. And I'm going to add to them. But as of now, that will be, that's where I'll, I'm just going to have to stop at those five. I don't even know if I will be able to do all the shrines. Being, that being said, I am probably gonna do all the shrines because that's that's the 100% completionist in me. Might take me a year, but I will probably have to do it. And I'm pretty sure that's one of your goals too. But write it down in the comment section. I would love to hear. Probably, you know, you writing down the comment section is probably gonna give me reason to look for that. So whether you're grinding for Hinox items, whether it's you grinding for dragon shards. Let me know what are stuff that you're going to be looking at to be completely satisfied with Tears of the Kingdom and what is 
some of the key missions, objectives, slash goals of yours for you to finally put down this game. My god, this game is massive. And my god, my name was Justin Lyle. And I'll check you paisanos later.